Go. Hiding in the trees, Arctic Burn is about to expire. Gets off his curse before the RP of Seb, who did go for the turnaround. A couple of Chen Creeps doing a lot of damage there. Seb, no skewer, so he's going to get stunned up by this Primal Split. A Tornado to buy a bit of time for the Magnus. Now he RPs up the Primal Split units, and a Cold Snap back into Suneko. Mid one doesn't have any Urn Charges remaining. So a little bit awkward from OG, but Sableye's gone way too deep, surely here, with some Mail and No Tail. Surrounding the Brewmaster, they'll Eclipse, EMP, clear up the Brewmaster, and NIP not reacting as they're diving bottom lane for Saxa. understand that he needs to <laughs> move the spiders. So Seb uses RP after Primal Split to keep himself alive, which is fine. They got the kill. Okay, here's the Hand of God to keep themselves alive. Hey, Remnants away from the EMP. Catching mid one with the searing chains, wrapping bowlers around his ankles. But mid one with cold snap, ghost walk, 18 one charges. I really don't think you're going to be bringing. With the help of Sableye's Primal Split, they're focusing multiple different targets now. Death Ward onto No Tail, but Sumail has been focused down on Remnant Forward. Does catch him out with a Winter's Curse. A couple of heroes down for OG here. They're going to trade back for Suneko. Yes, the Wyvern will fall. Oh, oh, Curse. Come on, kill him off. Take him down, Saxa still has that curse, you're right, holding on to it. Any kind of turnaround play with a potential for Seb to RP Sableye, he'll use it, spin around, a little pirouette, and bring Sableye back into the waiting arms of that Invoker. Two for two. NIP coming down south. I want to keep these fights going. Supreme. Tornado's up, and then a skill. Oh, into the, Cast. The Cast bounce back into the Magnus. Seb still focusing Supreme as the one runs away from the Death War. The Winter's Curse, though, focused in onto the Broodmother as the Stolen Curse going to try and bring down Supreme. And there we go. Broodmama gone. The Death Ward. Oh, my goodness. Rubik. Sanctus is stealing every ulti. Gets Crimson Guard. Great against Wyvern ulti. Great against Brulings. Spider, Trying you name it. I don't think you kill him here. He is so tanky. Gets a couple of heroes caught up in the RP. Brulings and Brood Mother. Era Seneco, Death Ward down now as mid one trying to hold the line. Seb still whacking away with a three man tornado, but they turn with a curse. Catching out Saxa. Mid one bringing his own Rubik down low. Sabler and Era still diving here with a cast bouncing into the creep wave. They'll find Saxa. And mid one still has a couple of spells up his sleeve. Scan connects on the Roche pit, and IP finally realize what is happening. Saxa and mid one though, they're in a great position here to try and catch anyone maneuvering across the river. The jump in with the searing chains for the tornado to stop the blue master getting the immediate takedown on Saxa. They do catch mid one with the Maldex, but it is a real awkward setup here from NIP. Remnanting forward, the skewer back. Into this clips now. Sableye is going to oh, get it. He doesn't get his problem split off. They cancel it out. And Supreme is solo RP. The brood is about to fall. A little more damage is all OG needed. And now with Ember Spirit chasing mid one, he's going to ghost walk away. Dust it up. Lucent Beam hits. He's got a Remnant to pull back on. Zeb still trying to give chase, but OG the perfect setup for the Roshan steal. They still have the Aegis and they're chasing. What a tornado from mid one. Another route. There's no remnants for Charlie. A good cast from Era will hold the advance of mid one and a great death ward. That Maledict takes him down. Charlie with that remnant aggressively, still trying to get back to base, but Era has been found by yet another death ward steal from Saxa. Era had nice position in that fight, hiding behind John Street. Charlie, what are you doing? He's dying, mate. Sable gets a blink, four-man clap, and now the primal split comes out. He's trying to 1v5. He's going to take down No-Tail. Look for the tornado onto Luna. Here comes He's Mama. The ages, and Saxa does get dropped. Sable Light, he is solo winning this team fight. Sumail's going to have to run back now, focus down the Luna. That Aegis is about to pop. Supreme will take her out. And ninjas in pajamas. We were wondering what Charlie was doing, but he was baiting the saber like the real carry with the brood mother, killing off Sumail. Oh, he Never mind. wait oh. what? The cold embrace. OG set out top lane. Agnes and Chen. And IP still trying to grab that mid tier too. The tornado EMP from mid one, cutting wave and getting caught. They've got a lot of stuns here. Mid one, he's not got Ghost Walk, so down he goes, and Saks are being chased by the Broodmother. That Fade Bot's still bouncing. Map. 
Sable like showing himself on that top wave. The backstab from Broodmother Charlie Era also coming in from the right hand side. But mid one in bid for the central stomp. The chain stomp's onto Charlie. Ember Spirit, he's about to drop. They do get the cold embrace, but it's not enough. Now, Luna turns the face up against the Broodmother, clearing out the sparklings, and the Broodmaster, he's in there. Primal split will come out. Finally gets his ultimate off, but Luna so strong, forcing Era away as the Glaives and the Lucent Beam will take down the Witch Doctor. Two heroes drop. They will try and bring down this Sumail Luna, but Essence still Luna alive. God, still alive. Broodmother finally gets the snipe on her as the Slider Fist from the Rubik bouncing around and mid one dropping low. Broodmother disarm through the Deafening Blast. Mid one isolated now, left alone, and OG, they will bleed out. A double kill for Supreme. They used one bat buyback on Era. Oh, no tail. Maledict with a death ward. Sableite is trying to chase this one down. The Broodmother's got such a great gap close to get herself a triple kill. Off the cliffs. Position yourself very nicely. Here it comes. Blink is ready, but nice change from Sableite. Still scared of that Winter's Curse. Trying to focus in Aiko a little bit here. But Supreme with the BKB. Straight onto Saxa. And there is no chance for your little Rubik. Look at this Broodmother with a BKB. The massive spider with a legs wobbling all over the place. Straight back onto No Tail. And the two OG supports annihilating. Supreme coming in with another real big peak of strength. Roshan, what are we looking at? 1 minute 45. Would have been perfect for NIP if they could have no found BKB it. On roof. No BKB can get RP. In comes the Ember, Ember Spirit with a remnant, but what's Supreme doing? Seb's gonna BKB, try and chase down Era. Sable is there on the high ground, but Sumail, now a little bit isolated, has been left alone by OG. She's gonna turn and fight. Seb skewers out. Everyone scattering to the wind. One minute. So the big man comes up. OG. They are five heroes strong now. Broodmother still gone for 20 odd seconds. Sableye comes down the staircase into the waiting arms of OG. A good Winter's Curse will reset the fight and allow a primal split if Sableye wants to pop it. And he does, of course. Tornado, though, cancelling it out once again with an EMP landing and a central stop that changed on the Brewmaster. He has no mana. Death and Blast and the Lucent Beam clears him up. Sableye didn't get his ulti off. Such a he great buyback. zoning EMP. They could. Saxa, be inside. Two more seconds. It's all it takes. And there it is. Seb did TP down to bottom, shoves the wave into the tier one. Mid one's being focused by Supreme, who pops his BKB to get that kill. What a play. If they get away from this, yep. Alacrity. Empower. And a centaur, but there's a zoning EMP and an ice wall again. Era trying to focus mid one. Good little cast bouncing around, but Saxa able to set up for a kill on the Witch Doctor as the primal split comes through. RP from Seb being fake pumped there. Focusing no tails, the chin retreats back to his high ground. Seb gonna kill off the spider. All these spiders. Down the little babies. Then comes Sumel with his BKB trying to take down Supreme. Holding onto the Black King Bar on Broodmother as they think about, you know, tentatively. I mean, we're gonna have alacrity on Luna as well, right? There, yeah, there, there it is. Sumail onto the high ground and OG. Lucky to hit this timing. Aegis, BKB, cheese for Sumail. They've got repair kit. kit. That's gonna go. Oh, RP from Seb. That's beautiful. A good catch into the eclipse and two heroes again obliterated. Charlie dead. And Seneco buys back as the tier 3 about to drop. Gem on the floor. Sableye blinks in to try and zone them away. And Broodmother focusing mid one. Great tornado will force a couple of them into the sky. And mid one force staff away. But he's still gonna get hounded here by NIP as the buybacks flow out. No tail. Is there anything to cancel TP? It's the Winter's Curse. They need some bigger targets. He yields up onto the Luna. They're gonna catch Sumail. He is surrounded now. Three cores and the rest of OG, they have escaped. Mid one, and it looks like no tail. The two casualties of war there, while the team who's controlling the vision, setting up the boards for his team. Like you can't do it with Chen right now because Brood Mother, you know, might scout you, and then you're just dead. Tornado onto two with an EMP. Mid one's found a nice little catch. Forced the Renan away, but Sableye stuck up on the high ground as an RP from Seb. The Broodmother being focused. The good cold embrace does keep Era alive. Supreme now back onto Saxa as the fight split and spread. Sableye doesn't have mana for his ulti, so he's going to BKB and try and run away, but Sumail is cleared through Era. Broodmother's BKB is going to get popped, but mid one just ghost walks. Invis is away as Luna still has that Aegis. Focusing now with the Eclipse towards Broodmother. Four staff forward. Supreme drops low, but it is not enough. Mabel like a little bit out in the open here though. The rest of his team coming back in. 
to try and reset this fight. They've got the Witch Doctor caught up though. Another good Glimmer Cape and no reveal from OG. A sentry finally dropped as no tail being shredded by the Brood. Hand of God buys him a few more seconds with the one, but the NIP have managed to bring him down. The trouble being, Sumail is back to full with mid one. And Seb, where is he? He's going deep. He's in He's near front of tier four three. heroes. Yeah, I think Seb might over it. He's still oh, alive. Not for long. Sacks are down. Mid one. He's got a BKB Sumail from the high ground. What can he do? He's got no Eclipse. He's been full stabbed down to try and TP home. There's no stuns. So OG losing four heroes in a row. Or the other. Now into their jungle as the Supreme Broodmother does break high ground. No, she's going to farm a jungle camp. It's going to be Charlie that leads the charge. Gets a spirit vessel over onto Magnus, so no blink RP from him. The blink and Cinder Brew. Primal split pop by Supreme. Uh, by Sableite, even. Trying to find No Tail hiding in the jungle as the era witch doctor and the Saxon Rubik. They're being picked off by the backstab of both sides. Cyclone up onto Luna. Still empowered up, and Magnus unable to RP. He's going to have to BKB here, surely, to try and get an RP. He's got two targets, but a run away from Sableye. Now the Winter's Curse being focused down by Centaurs as the buyback from Rubik does come out. OG, they're scattering around this fight, but NIP are doing this dance of death with them. Really focusing down the backline support as No-Tail being brought down low. Sumail pops with the Eclipse onto the RP Broodmother. Supreme, they've caught the Brood. They've got the Chain Stuns. The damage is good, but they call the Brace. Buy for the time. The Skewer back out away, but they've still got the damage. Sumail, the right clicks are ridiculous from this Luna with the bonus illusion. And NIP losing two of their big cores. No ultis remaining. While OG, two buybacks on their support means the push can continue. They've got the jump lift up and the kill onto that Brood. Ember Spirit down, Brew buys back, so does the Brood Mother, and Invoker very deep behind the tier 3. Sableye, he's in a 1 versus 4. He's cold snapped up, Glimmer Cape and no reveal. Golden Grace will buy some time as Charlie diving in deeper. The Centaur stops the micro from No Tail, chain stunning Charlie as Sableye ripped to shreds by Luna. Sumail is so powerful right now. Seb incredibly tanky, just skewers away from the tier 4s. NIP on their last legs. They can't deal with a Sumail Luna. The Broodmother's Bounce trying her hardest. BKB, BKB. In a second. It's coming, but the speedy Brood gonna get chased by the remnanting blinking Saxa. Rubik gets the snipe and Brood dead for two minutes. I believe that game, that's your main source of damage gone. Now they're just gonna go for tier four towers. Luna is just gonna shred it. Man, it's just a pleasure to watch the way OG is spread around that fight. And they get the perfect target off. Like Witch Doctor, he causes a lot of issues for them. So they take him out first. Winter's Curse, oh man, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, they slay mid one. But look at this Rubik, Sasa remnanting and taking down Charlie. And the throne exposed all alone and down it goes.